This is my Cascading Hawthorn, which is in development. It's only a fairly young plant, but it's growing nicely. And today I need to do some spring work on it. The wire's beginning to bite in. As you can see here, there is some scarring starting, so it's time to get this wire off. That wire came off really easily. It's all fairly fine stuff. Uh, working around the finer branches, putting shaping, but as I say, they were beginning to scar and they've mainly sort of maintained that shape now. I might have to rewire them in the winter. You can see the main structural wire here, and this is applying this heavy curve. Most of this shape is in place because I wired this last year, but it didn't quite hold as severe a bend as I wanted. So uh, I'm leaving this wire on for another month just to maintain this shape, but Everything else seems to have worked really well. You can see the structure that's in place at the ends of these branches. Uh, and I think this is really quite attractive. Looks good. What I do have a lot of on this plant are these new extended growths. And they're just a bit too long. So this is the main job for today is to trim these back. I had some problems with my mic, so I've had to do a bit of a voiceover, but I'm basically just showing you the hawthorn and saying that I don't think it's a bad tree considering it's only been in training for a year. This is a second tree that's also, I started training at a similar time. It's smaller and a bit thinner. In the same way to the first one, I've applied wire to create some decent movement in the cascade, but this one's got four branches a couple of which need to go, but the other two I want to use to create some more structure into the tree. This first branch is coming from the inside of a bend and it's just in the wrong place. So I decided to just get rid of it. I cut it out with my snips to get rid. And then I decided to go back in and clean up the little, uh, the little nub with my, I can never remember the name of it, what are they called? Hybrid cutters, that's it. And they did a nice, neat job. This is just a speed up bit of footage of me applying some wire to this Hawthorne. Now that I've applied some wire to this, all I'm going to do is put a nice bend in it. Just a bit of movement and kind of create another layer, hopefully from, from this branch. These are the two branches up on the top. They're in quite a nice place actually. I need to select one. So I'm going to select this one, which is further back. And all I'll do now is just apply some wire to that as well. For anybody who's never had a go at wiring, it's, there's really nothing to be scared of. It's, it's pretty simple. And the best way to sort of get into it is just to do it. I'm just coiling this wire around. This is, uh, I think this is one millimetre wire, this. Wind it around, avoiding all the branches and the buds. And then all I want to do is, well, I've got a decision to make now. As you can see, the trunk twists its way down, which is nice. We've got a couple of branches over on the right hand side. So I definitely want this over on the left. I do have a branch here, a small one, which is in a nice place. But I think this can be more of a major one coming round and adding shape into this space. So that's all I'm going to do is take this round, bring it back, and I will, as I often do, 
I'll point the tip up in the air just for the health of the branch. And this is kind of taking this area now and just creating an extra element to the tree, which I like. These are the kind of bonsai jobs that I really enjoy doing. So it's just a pleasure for me working on a couple of young trees like this. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you want to follow the progress and see my other trees, hit subscribe and make sure you have a great day. I'll see you soon.